Hey, what's up mga Dilas Gaming? Ang pag-usapan natin sa vlog na to, ano bang uh, the best na gaming phone na gagamitin natin? So, kung ano may mga masasabi ko, uh, it's my own opinion. Para sa inyo, ano ba? Leave a like, share, and subscribe. So, number one is iPhone 11 Pro Max. Or iPhone 11 Pro. Ano ba to? Yung iPhone kasi, ah, uh, dyan yun ang pinaka-smooth gaming sa 11, iPhone 11 Pro Max or iPhone 11 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is the bigger, better brother of Apple's US flagship smartphone. In a few key ways, but if you're picking either model for gaming, you might as well go with the best. The 6.5 inch screen of the iPhone 11 Pro Max is bigger than the one on its 5.8 inch sibling and it's bigger battery manages to stay working longer than the standard iPhone 11 Pro so sa test nila it loaded up Clash Royale and PUBG even faster versus the iPhone, 11, iPhone X and speed is crucial in online gaming Lalo na pag nag Mobile Legends ka. Pag nag-lag yung phone mo, yung tendency, pangit na room mo, natatalo kayo, nagka-crash yung game, and so on. Number 2 phone is OnePlus 8 Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro is a proper flagship phone. No more cutting corners, no more flagship killers. Underdog mantra, OnePlus is now officially mixing it with the big, big, best names in the industry of mobile it means the 8 pro is also the most expensive handset as of date but there's plenty of bang for you back to justify the cost plus it's still a shade cheaper than rival samsung apple and huawei smartphones so pag nag bali parang uh, halos same sila lang performance ng iPhone 11 Pro Max sa so OnePlus 8 Pro. So, ano pa ba yung iba na gusto mong try? Pero, swak sa budget mo, di ba? So, Samsung Galaxy S20 or S20 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Gal Galaxy S20 Plus are obvious inclusions for this list. Seeing as how you're the latest and see the latest entries in the most high profile, Android flagship range around. So, meron siyang 8GB ng RAM. It's not, uh, so, not much should show the phone phones down and games will look great on the great as both models have QHD plus screen with a refresh rate of up to 120HZ. They also pack with batteries giving you either 4,000 mAh or 4,500 mAh to play with the Galaxy S20 and Galaxy S20 Plus. So next, Galaxy uh, Black Shark 2. The Black Shark 2 is the second generation gaming phone from Chinese from Xi Xiaomi's gaming army. And it's built well on its predecessor adding more power and a better screen into the mix so yun okay din ng for me gusto ko suggest sa inyo iPhone 11 Pro Max si Black Shark 2 as so of far ah combining great camera excellent internals and improved gaming credentials over the original the Black Shark 2 is a triple threat the, the, the batters most of this gaming phone rivals number 5 Numbia Red Magic 5G the Numbia Red Magic 5G has the world's first 144 HZ smartphone screen which makes it ideal for gaming that is six, silky smooth refresh rate but that's not the only thing that makes this an ideal for gaming. In fact, it's designed specifically for the pastime with shoulder triggers to give you increased control of a fan 
and a liquid cooling system to keep the handset cool under pressure on an intense heat game space to let you customize your game experience and afford the shock picture and adds vibrating to games. Number 6, Asus ROG Phone 2. The Asus ROG Phone 2 has the almost all the features mobile gamers need including a Stregger Railing Large 6000 MAH battery for extended gaming sessions and a slick 120HC AMOLED screen in large 6.59 inch size. Being designed specifically for gamers, it also features you won't find most other phones such as clip-on fan is generally included in the box and a range of other accessories such as gamepad which you all have to buy separately so number seven razer phone 2 the razer phone has a solid first effort to bring the gamer specific brand to a mobile device but it had a few shortcomings that drop in the in the further down our list the second version has other some and come out with stronger device for it through it still in primarily gamers Nasly is Samsung Galaxy S10 plus and Galaxy S10 don't be surprised to see Samsung so high on this list its latest family a Galaxy S and smartphone are the worst feature Qualcomm's power few new Snapdragon 855 chipset which quickly boosted them up to the top of the pack in terms of sheer peer performance. The screen really real estate is also expanded so you have that much more game to look at with this phones you're getting but a killer phone and a powerful gaming in the device. So next, ano bang gamit ko pag naging games ako? Ano bang phone ko? Phones ko? Pag naglalaro ako ng Mobile Legends. Number one is, yung phone ko na ginagamit is Samsung Galaxy A20. Uh, uh, A70 or A20. So, ito yung gaming phone ko. Uh, so, 4 months. Ikita nyo naman sa screen, gano'n kabilis sa uh, mag-loading ang game ng Mobile Legends. As a player na Mobile Legends, for me, ito na yung for beginner phones. Ito yung gustong gusto kong ginagamit. Itong, itong Samsung ko na to. So, may, uh, maganda yung pagka, ano nga, for me, smooth na to for gaming. Matodo natin brightness para nakikita natin kung anong meron sa game. So, nag-update yung game ko. So far, ito yung maganda sa akin na gaming phone. As well as, meron akong Oppo A3s for, for backuping this gaming phone na ginagamit ko. So nakita naman natin gano'n siya kabilis pag nag-touch. Minsan may konting lag. Pero for beginners, okay na tong gantong cellphone. See? Wala tayong problem sa kanya. As so far, as a 4 months na ginagamit ko to, ito yung pinaka the best game ko para sa akin. So, sa inyo mga beginner gamers, ano dun sa walo gusto nyo itryin na gamitin? Or, gusto nyo mag, mag uh, cheaper budget, low cost, pero maganda rin yung quality for, for gaming? Try yung Samsung na ginagamit ko. Smooth gaming, good graphics, uh, may lags ng konti, pero the best yan. I suggest ko smartphone. So, for me, Realme 6i. The phone is powered by, oct by Octa-Core, 2 xz dual-core Cortex, A75 plus 1.8 GHz, Hexa-Core Cortex A55 processor. It runs in the MediaTek Helio G80 chipset. It has 3GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. So, Realme 6 naman. Smartphone runs 
on Android V10 operating system. The phone is powered by Octa Octa Core 2.05 GAZ Dual Core Cortex A76 Plus 2 G GAZ hexa, hexa Core Cortex A55 processor. It runs to on the MediaTek Helio G90 T chipset. It has 4 gig RAM and 64 gig internal storage. And last me, the best ng Realme, Realme 6 Pro. The phone is powered by Octa-Core 2.3 JC Dual Core. Creo 465 plus 1.8 JC Hexa-Core. Cairo 465 processor. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G chipset. The 6 gig RAM and 64 gig internal storage. So, pag gusto mong bumili, sabi mo gusto mo ng Realme 6 Pro kasi gusto mo. Maganda yung specs nga maganda lahat so gusto mo smooth na yung gaming mo gusto mo maganda uh, kahit na paano maganda na yung games mo na napaka smooth pero may slight lag pa rin at hindi ka nagiging cancer sa game so suggestion ko try mo yung cellphone ko Samsung Galaxy A70 napaka smooth ultra smooth pare Ang ganda na yung pag-graphics kahit pa na maganda yung game. Dito naman natin, try natin mag-play ng isang laro ko. So, meron siyang slightly, slight na lag, pero ultra smooth yung gaming natin pag ginagamit natin si Samsung ko. As well as, kung mag a 3 uh, kung gusto mo na mag-starter na gamer at nag opo A3S ka, make sure meron kang uh, additional na storage para sa game. Malaki kasing kinakain na space ng Mobile Legends. Regardless, maganda rin namin graphics dito, widescreen, at madami kang makakapaglaro ang Mobile Legends as smooth as possible. Basta may external storage ka. So, ultra fast, uh, fast forward natin game. Nakikita nyo naman, less lag. Konti lang kasi replay lang to ng game na gina, na mga games ko. So, yan. Good graphics. Uh, konti yung lags. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment for suggestions. Diras Gaming and Cooking Vlogs.